Oh my god, it is humid as flip outside. It's like 75%. I've just gone and done um, some of the Christmas shopping this morning because I figured this is a good time to do it. The mall is quiet. It looked a bit like this. And get that out of the way. And uh, then I don't have to deal with the massive amounts of crowds and things like that, which is great. But I mean, can you believe? I mean, it's mid-November now. Um, we started seeing Christmas goods like trees and decorations and stuff turning up in the shops at the same time as the Halloween stuff appeared and now it's gone full Christmas. There's decorations and everything today. The Christmas music started up. I mean, we're not even in December. You're not supposed to put your tree up till December. Get something to cool off. Summer is the worst here. It is just like too much. I mean, being warm is nice, but you know, there is such a thing as too much. Well, at least it's overcast. If we'd had the sun and this humidity today, man, that'd be it. I'd just be in the pool or something. <sighs> so, got some Christmas shopping done. Got really got no idea what to get anybody, so it was a little bit of a an idea searching mission, but I don't know, it gets hard because you know, people have got everything. I mean, you don't need to just buy them something for the sake of it. You, know, you feel obligated to for Christmas, so what do you do, you know? I uh, applied for some more jobs this morning as well, so I've got a few possibilities going. I'm just, again, waiting for people. The interminable waiting game <laughs> for agencies and things to get back to you. I suppose they've got to talk to the vendor and you know, go through a process, so. Uh, so yeah, so I've got a bit of time on my hands. I think while I'm waiting, I'm going to watch the new Mission Impossible. Uh, we'll see what that's like. The other one's usually pretty good, so. As long as Tom Cruise is kept away from the couches. Um, and while I'm doing that, uh, here are some other things that happened. Good game? Yes! Yeah. Fun! Awesome.
So I hope you enjoyed watching those clips. The uh, gymnastics Halloween competition uh, was pretty good. Um, it, they've got a bit of a weird system though where all the um, competitors compete individually and then um, they get, for purposes of like ranking and scoring at the end, they then get split up into teams. And Han had a weird team this year. She was like the only one from her club mixed in with five I think from the, the Gold Coast club. Um, so I don't quite know how they did the ranking. I mean, you sort of accept them to go 50-50, given that it's two clubs, but anyway, they didn't. Um, that was weird, but yeah, she got fifth this year, so uh, last year she placed third. Um, I think she was a little bit disappointed, but it's just, you just don't know. I mean, um, with the, the group ranking, uh, you know, you don't know whether you've got a bad group or a good group, or you've been mugged in with all the beginners or whatever. Um, she did do quite well in the individual scoring. A couple of the events she, she got really high scores in, so um, she's definitely mastering some of the skills, which is great. So that was really good to see. Anyway, I uh, just finished watching the Mission Impossible uh, Fallout. I think it's what, the fifth or sixth film now. Um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, as always, the action and the stunts is where it's at. Um, Tom Cruise really goes all out for it. Um, I do question as to whether he's going to be able to continue doing these for too much longer, given that he, he's actually starting to look like he's getting old. Um, I mean, that, that's, that's fine in the context of Mission Impossible. I mean, uh, by rights, he should probably be leading the team by now and, you know, maybe taking a bit more of a backseat role. Um, I guess that's the only thing with the movies versus the TV show, you know, the, the, the movies try to do it, but you always feel like they're pushing back to that one main character and it's kind of a showcase for, for Tom Cruise to do his thing. Um, but who knows, um, this one was good, it definitely felt a lot more like the traditional Mission Impossibles. Um, it was, yeah, it was, it was a, I don't know, more leisurely paced place story, but it still felt like there was a lot going on, there was a lot of intrigue and things like that, and, and plotting and that, and certainly when the action sequences come around, it, you know, really takes off. Um, but it was really good. No, I, I enjoyed it. I, I recommend checking it out. Um, still quite exciting. Uh, but yeah, I'd be interested to see him change it up for the next one. Um, I do appreciate that they do try to change it a bit, everyone. Um, I think the second one is probably my least favourite still, where it was just a little bit too Tom Cruise posy. Um, maybe I'm being a bit hard on that now and it'll be, be uh, you know, less hair porn um, now. But, I don't know, I just got tired of the slow motion shots of Tom Cruise with his long hair whipping back in the breeze in slow motion. Um, that was a tough one to get through. Uh, but yeah, this one was really good. So um, I guess we'll see what he comes up with next. Uh, but if you're interested in a bit of an action, uh, check it out. Alright, well, um, I'm running out of daylight now, so I'm going to go and do a few things, and then I'm going to pick up my girl from school, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, 
As always, click the subscribe button below, smash the little bell next to it so that hopefully you'll get notified when I post another video, if and when I'm able to post another video, given that our internet is still shit. And, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.